Hi, this is Mr. Perez here with Module 5, Lesson 3, the area of acute triangles using height and base. So this is the lesson. Uh, you should definitely have your workbook pages out. If you can print them, uh, please have them out in front of you. If you cannot print them, open up a new tab with the lesson pages right there for you to review. Uh, but then also have your notebook out so that you can write notes about the different problems. Uh, definitely have some sort of writing, a utensil and something to write on out as you will want to write out some of these problems for sure. Um, in lesson two, we talked about how to find the area of a triangle and it's basically using this formula here. One half base times height. So if you can identify the base of a triangle and the height of a triangle, you pretty much have it down. Um, we also saw it as, sorry about that, we also saw it as area equals base times height divided by two. Very same thing because one half is the same as dividing by two. Um, so in question number one, we have a triangle, but it's an acute triangle. Acute means all three of the angles are 90 degrees. And notice I am talking about this triangle here. So this is one big triangle. And that line down the middle actually represents the height. If you can recall, the height of a triangle is perpendicular to the base, as you can see with that little box, 90 degree angle from the base, and it's going straight up and down. So this triangle actually has some information that I don't need. I don't need this. That's not the base and it's not the height. This is also not the base and it's not the height. Uh, now I have those two other numbers on bottom and what's interesting about those is they both are important. If I were to focus on the green triangle, the green triangle is I'm breaking up the big triangle into two little triangles. This triangle has a base of nine and a height of 12. So area equals base times height divided by two, nine times 12 divided by Two. And if I want to find the area of that, sorry guys, I went to go get a calculator, believe it or not. Um, so 9 times 12 divided by 2 in my calculator, 9 times 12 divided by 2. The area of the green triangle is 54. It's actually 54 centimeters squared. The area of the other triangle, let's call it the purple triangle. So the purple triangle is going to be this triangle here. So notice it's two triangles. We have a purple triangle, we have a green triangle, and they are uh, put together, they form one big triangle. Uh, the area of this triangle, area equals 12.6 is the base, multiplied by 12, which is the height, and then divided by two. Using my calculator, 12.6 times 12 divided by 2, and I get 75.6, again, centimeters squared. Now, if I know the area of the purple side, the area of this is 75.6, and the area of this is 54, when I put them together, I get the area of the entire triangle. So let me go ahead and work that out. So 75.6, I'm gonna add it together with a 54. Uh, remember 54 could be made into 54.0. Then when I add, decimal will come straight down, nine, 12. The entire triangle has an area of 129.6 centimeters squared. I put them together. Right, um, I want you guys to pause the video, take a moment and go ahead and try to find the area of these next few triangles. Uh, I'm gonna give it a couple seconds pause and then I'm going to resume the video uh, so that you can check your work. Go ahead and pause now as you go through the rest of this page.
All right, I'm back to work on this problem. Um, and I want you to double check to see how you did for each of these problems. I am gonna be calling it a purple triangle and I am gonna be calling it a green triangle. So we have purple triangle, we have green triangle. First of all, with the green, I want to multiply the base, eight times the height, 5.2, and then I'm gonna divide that by two. Don't forget to divide by two. Using my calculator, eight multiplied by 5.2, then divide that by two and I get 20.8. 20.8 feet squared. And then for the purple triangle, I have a base of 3.9, multiply that by 6.5 and I'm gonna divide that by two. 3.9 multiplied by 6.5 divided by two and I get 12.675. Don't be afraid to use all of those decimals. And then I'm gonna go over and I'm going to add these two numbers together. I could use my calculator, sure, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do this by hand. 12.675 added to 20.8. Notice how I lined up my decimals. I could add these zeros here. 5, 7, 8 plus 6 is 14, carry the 1, 2 plus 1, 2 plus 1, decimal comes straight down. And there's my answer. 33.475 feet squared. Uh, ooh, this one looks a little bit tricky because I noticed that the height, the dotted line, is actually really close to the edge of this. I'm not even, my drawing's not gonna do it justice, but we have a little tiny skinny triangle right there. And then we have our nice big fat chunky triangle over here uh, compared to the other one. My lines are not perfect, but that's okay. Um, so first of all, I need to find the area of the big triangle. Uh, and this one's kind of turned on its side, but don't be alarmed by that, just kind of tilt it. Uh, if you rotate it to the left, you can see the bottom is still, the base is two. The height is two and five sixths. And I'm gonna divide that by two. Now here's a little bit of a trick, guys. Uh, I have a two on top and a two on bottom. Well, two divided by two is just one. So that makes this the rest of the problem actually really easy. One times two and five sixths divided by one. It's just two and five six. So the answer two and five six inches squared. And then we have the little purple triangle. The purple triangle this time has a base of five six. It has a height of two and five six. And I'm still gonna divide that by two. Uh, so remember if I wanna uh, do some multiplication with fractions, I have to first convert the mixed number. I have to convert uh, this guy into an improper fraction. Uh, so I end up with 5 sixths. That didn't change. And then I'm gonna do that whole uh, multiply add thing. Uh, 12 plus five is 17, still over six. And then whatever I get, I'm gonna divide it by two, right? Five times 17 is 85, over 36. And then I'm gonna divide that by two. 85 divided by 36, but then I'm gonna divide that by two. So let me uh, find a nice good spot to do some side work. I'll go ahead and do it right here on bottom. So I end up with 85 over 36 divided by two, which is like saying 85 over 36 times one half, which is 85 over 72. 85 over 72. So the answer to this one, uh, and actually one more step, if I were to divide, I would get one and 13 over 72. One and 13 over 72. So the answer is one and 13 over 72 inches squared. Uh, now, if I wanna add those two together, oh, this one, the fractions are kind of frustrating here, um, but uh, all I gotta do is convert my green. Uh, so this one's actually gonna be two and, and I wanna make the denominator 62. So I'm gonna multiply it by 12. So I'm gonna multiply the numerator by 12 and I get 60 
multiply the denominator by 12 and I get over 72. Uh, so now when I add these two together, two and 60 over 72 plus one and 13 over 72, and I end up getting three and 73 over 72, or just simply four and one over 72. Uh, I know I kind of went quickly through all that fraction work. Uh, can I have you guys trust me on that? Four and one over 72 is the area of the entire triangle put together. I had to do two separate problems just to get one answer, but, but there is a trick. Hopefully you're still with me. There is a trick. Instead of making two separate triangles, I'm going to count this. Notice I could rotate this, by the way. I'm gonna make that the base, the entire length, and then I'm gonna rotate this so that you guys can see it a little bit better. Let me just go ahead and put it there for now. Um, and as you can see, when I rotated this from, it used to be this guy right here. So that means that this length, let me just put an X here so it stands out. That length is 34 plus 12. That's 34 plus 12. So the base is actually 34 plus 12, 34 plus 12. The base is 46. The height, well, that dotted line down the middle is still 32. So by adding the bases together, now I have one triangle, one base, one height, and I'm just gonna find it all together at once. So instead of doing them separately for this problem, I'm simply gonna say area equals base 46 times height 32, and then I'm gonna divide that by two. And I get 736. I only had to do one problem. I didn't have to double it up. It became way easier because I was simply able to add these two lengths, 34 plus uh, 12, to get 46. All right, let's move on. Uh, question number two, can we use the formula area equals one half times base times height to calculate the area of triangles that are not right triangles? Yes. The answer is yes. Other types of triangles definitely do have a base. They definitely do have a height. So all you need to do is identify the base and identify the height and divide it by two. It's the same exact thing. We just saw that in the previous problem. And actually in number three, we can work this out here. Examine the given triangle and expression. So we have a triangle, they give us this bit of information here, and this is actually, it comes from area equals one half times base times height. So really similar, in fact, these two are the same. Um, so I wanna know where they get the information from. Obviously the one half came from the one half. The base, the base is this 11 feet. The base is 11, but where did that come from in the picture? I want you to stop and think. In the picture, where would 11 come from? Well, 11 is actually the base put together. It's actually three plus eight, which equals 11. So the base is 11, the height is four. So we have one half times the base, which is 11, and the height, which is four. And if I were to complete this problem, I might as well complete it. Uh, then I would get 22 feet squared. So once again, I didn't have to do two separate problems. I just combined the bases into one big base. And then I used that height down the middle, which is the four. It got me the answer. Uh, explain what each part of the expression represents according to the triangle. So the 11, feet represents the combined base. And the four feet represents the height. 
And I've been saying all along, if I want to find the area of a triangle, all I need to do is know the base and know the height and know that I got to multiply them and then divide by two. Question number four, Joe found the area of a triangle by writing a equals one half times 11 times four. Well, Caitlin found the area by writing area equals one half times three times four plus one half times 11 times four. Explain how each student approached the problem. I want you to stop, relate this to this triangle here. Think about it. Uh, I'm going to tell you that Caitlin and Joe are both correct. Neither one of them is wrong. They both have a perfectly good uh, math equation to find the area of the triangle. I want you to stop and think about what they did differently, and I want you to write your response now. Pause the video. All right, uh, so first of all, I wanna focus on what did Joe do? And I wanna focus on this here because that's what's different. Joe added the two bases together. So he only has one triangle problem to work on. Caitlin did not add. So if we're still thinking the formula is area equals one half times B times H, well, notice that her base is three in that section and it's eight in this section. So instead of doing one problem where she added that three and eight, like Joe did, she did it separately. She did it the way we were doing it at the beginning where we have the purple triangle. So she did uh, the purple triangle and then she did the green triangle. In fact, she did the green triangle first. Um, so this would be like the green section so oh, this would be like the green section. She did the green triangle and then she did the purple triangle. So she did them as two separate problems and that definitely works. Uh, but if you like shortcuts, you want to do it Joe's way. You want to combine the two. Question number five, the triangle below has an area of 4.76 square inches and it gives you the base of 3.4 inches and we want to find the height. These questions, uh, are tricky at first, but then once you realize how to work them out, uh, in my opinion, I don't think they're so bad. Uh, so area equals, we could say one half base times height. I prefer saying base times height divided by two. That's just my preference. Um, and they give me the area. They tell me the area is 4.76. So under area, I'm just going to go ahead and write 4.76. They give me the base. The base is 3.4. So in place of the B, I'm gonna put 3.4. Then we have the H, then we have the two, right? I'm gonna multiply both sides by two. Multiply both sides by two. Why am I doing that? I'm doing that so I could get rid of this divided by two. I don't want it there, it's gone now, right? So 4.76 using my calculator times two is 9.52. Let me go to the other side. So now I'm left with 9.52 equals 3.4H. And that's multiplication. And if you recall, I wanna get rid of multiplication. I'm gonna divide both sides by 3.4. So 9.52 divided by 3.4 equals 2.8. We were trying to find height, height is I flipped it around in case you didn't notice, 2.8 inches. And notice it's not inches squared, it's just inches. Um, so I kind of jumped into that problem without reading the A and B. Uh, explain how the equation uh, represents the situation. Uh, so going backwards a little bit, this section is the area, and then we have the one half, and then this is the base, and then the H is h so one half base times height which is the same as base times height divided by two and solve the equation i already did all right uh all right that concludes this lesson uh, we have this problem set i'm asking you to do i'm asking you to do all of the odd problems uh there uh, i am not making additional homework videos however the homework videos are still you can still locate them inside of the math website uh, and if you're wondering where the math website is, I'll post this up on 
uh, Google Classroom as well. But the math website is, uh, what is it? It's bit.ly slash Westside Math 6, right? Bit.ly dot Westside Math 6. That'll take you to the math website. And then you can find all the other videos that are already up. Those videos have all of uh, all of the lessons I believe are already posted, most of them. I think there's a few missing, uh, but I'm still gonna be making my own videos uh, so that I can uh, customize it to uh, what I believe is the most important aspects of the lesson. Uh, so go ahead, go to that, and you can watch any homework video. I'm not making homework videos. I will only be making lesson videos and exit ticket videos. So um, if you need any support, some people have already been asking me about the videos. Uh, there is one video that says watch this and nobody is able to access it. I'm working on that. I'm dealing with the tech support team. Uh, they're helping me out. So hopefully we can get that in order. Uh, if there's any other issues, please, please let me know and I will be happy to help you.